G'day, I'm Brad. I've had my Thai driver's license for two years and it's just about to expire, so I'm headed down to get my five-year license. So if you stick around, I'll take you through everything that I originally did to get the license and what's involved in getting the five-year license. Don't need to be no rich hand. I'm just editing the next video while Tar's doing some cooking. We had a barbecue yesterday and whenever we do a barbecue, I cook extra pork and she makes yum cucumber the next night. We, we absolutely love it and, we, and especially cook extra pork so we can have it. So the initial license, Thai driver's license that I got, uh, we walked in expecting it to be for one year, but we got two years. Uh, I think two years is pretty standard now for the initial license. And the paperwork that you need, uh, you need your international driver's license, you need a, the your current driver's license from your home country, and if it's not in English, you need that translated into English. Uh, you also need a, a certificate from the doctor. So... <laughs> What we did, we went into a local clinic and they're supposed to test you for colour blindness and the, the certificate was pretty much all just handwritten when we initially got it done and I just sat in the waiting room and the doctor sung out to Tar, is he colour blind? And she said no and then he just filled out the form and gave it to us. So I paid the 100 baht and, and that was done. Uh, what else do we need? That you need to go to your embassy, and they need to um, you need to fill out a stat deck, a statutory declaration. Um, that's what we call it in Australia, and um, other countries may have a, a varying name for it. And you just need to write down your, your current address in Thai, and they stamp it, and you pay your money, and, and then you walk away. Um, yeah, it's. It's a bit of a, a money spinner for the embassy, but uh, it's just something that you, you have to do. Uh, also a copy of your passport and a copy of your current so visa. You take all that paperwork to your nearest Department of Land Transport. And then pretty much that's all I had to do. I gave them all the paperwork. They just checked that everything was, was fine. I paid my money and no testing. Um, I went upstairs to to a different section where the lady actually prints your your driver's license. So she took my photo and then printed the card, and we walked out, and every everything was done. Hmm. So initially, when I got my my two year driver's license, it was very very simple. Hmm. No 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 drama at all. A little bit different with the the second one though when I got the five-year life I'll head downstairs um, see how Tar's going with the cooking Hugh need I so a hungry hungry a little bit yeah so <laughs> bear with me or we'll head downstairs. Oh, you're not stuck cooking yet I'm washing up. we're hungry baby no. <laughs> everyone's hungry <laughs> you are. I just thinking you could joke. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I don't know you can have video. <laughs> you're, you're, you're so professional in the kitchen, baby. We'll, we'll, we'll leave you alone and let you, let you do your work. Okay. Bye. Bye bye. So, with your five year license, you actually need less paperwork. You don't need your international driver's license and you don't need your, your home country's license. Because you've got your, your Thai driver's license, so you take that, you take the certificate from the doctor. The certificate from the doctor is a little bit different now also, because you can no longer have it handwritten, it has to be printed out. So you actually, <laughs> we went to a different clinic and we actually had to, to sit in front of the doctor and um, she didn't she didn't ask me any questions. Or the only English that she spoke, she said, driver's license and then she she checked my heartbeat and my lungs and then said okay <laughs> and we when we walked out she didn't want to you're supposed to check for color blindness 
but she she didn't even ask about that. So that cost a hundred baht. So that was all done. Uh, that was pretty easy. Uh, I'm, I'm medically fit to drive a car in Thailand. So all I needed to do is have my blood pressure checked, and also to to see whether I'm still breathing. So she she checked with the stethoscope on my on my lungs. So I'm still alive, so I can drive in Thailand. 100 baht is all it costs me. Dinner's arrived. Tar's done a great job yet again. We have our young cucumber. Uh. <laughs> Sorry to be doing this over dinner. We've just been very time poor lately. So Tar's been very busy. And I've been busy, didn't I? <laughs> but I'm retired. I don't have to be busy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to just backtrack... Uh, a minute from what I was telling you before. Um, the license? Yeah, getting yeah. The, the license. Yeah. I had to go to the Australian Embassy. Um, they've actually moved from where they used to be. Mm. They're now uh, about 500 metres from... Lumpini Park. <laughs> <laughs> well I done. And I, I, never, I never been to the Embassy yet. Uh, hmm. uh, yeah. Because it, it just moved there. Yes. Oh, Last year or something? Yeah, it's been a few months now, but that's the first time I've been there. Oh, oh. Yeah. After getting bitten at the embassy, I thought I'd come to Lumpini Park and see what's biting there. If you want to see lizards, this is the place to go to in Bangkok. Completely different to, to the lizards at our, at our village. These ones are so used to people, and especially people with cameras, that they really don't pay much notice to you. If you do come, come too close, they, they will scurry off to the water. But um, yeah, they're never in a great hurry, so you can get some really good shots. I was just waiting for some YouTube gold and a standoff between these two lizards. That old fish that he's got must have been pretty tasty, but it was certainly stunk a lot. And he really didn't care about me being there. He cared more about the other lizard, who is coming closer to me, so absolutely no fear of people just wanted to protect his meal So if you are coming to visit one of the embassies, I highly recommend stopping in at Limpini Park. It's very, very popular. A lot of people come here just to, to walk around, to look at the lizards. Uh, you also have a lot of people who are jogging and, and riding bicycles also. Australia must be rich. 
very ISO building, <laughs> a lot of security. You, you, you just walk to a door and it opens for you. Mm. <laughs> you don't have to worry about door handles. Um. Uh, so, so went there mm. and all, essentially all you're doing at the Australian Embassy or at any embassy, you're, you're getting them to confirm your address. Yes. And I don't really know how they confirm your address in Thailand. I fill out a stat deck. And they just believe me from the stat deck because on the on the on the back stat, of the stat, okay, go. <laughs> on the back of the stat deck it says if you if you lie on the stat deck it's four years jail. Oh. You can stab someone and only get six months, but you if you lie on your stat deck it's four years. Oh. <laughs> and um, so yeah, I filled out the stat deck, gave it to the guy, um, paid my money. 1680 baht very expensive <laughs> i said to him do you keep a record of my address mm. he said no we just print out a receipt we don't they don't keep a record of anything that i that i gave them they don't <laughs> keep a copy of the stat deck nothing no. they just oh. no they, they just stamp it take my 1680 baht mm. and then i'm on my way <laughs> <laughs> so then I go to the, the doctor mm. and they do a, um, a tire style physical on me. She mm. <laughs> 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 so, so used the stethoscope to check my heartbeat and mm. to check my lungs. Mm. And mm. apparently a, a, I didn't look like dying while she was checking so i was fine for her to give me the certificate she's also yes. supposed to check me for color blindness with, but she didn't mention that yes <laughs> so that was a hundred bar that was pretty easy yeah. so then we go to the department of land transport hmm. and i've got my 500 bar ready yes and i didn't re <laughs> well both of us we didn't research what was going to happen <laughs> Maybe we, we had our fingers crossed that we just pay our money and get everything processed and then get my, um, get my driver's license for five years. Yeah. But it, it didn't quite work out that way. Did they make you play a game? <laughs> they, I had to do very high level testing. Oh. <laughs> so I think uh, like a game. <laughs> high level Thai style testing. <laughs> So, so first I had to go to a, it's like a, a toy traffic light. They, they mm. had the, the, the green, amber and red. Mm. And the girl had a, a, little, a little box she, she, and she was pressing the buttons to, to make the colors change. Ah. So, so I had to tell them, I had to yell out what color it was. If it was red, <laughs> yellow, green, green, uh. red, green. <laughs> <laughs> so she did that for a few minutes and then she was happy that I uh, understood the colours. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> then I had to go and sit on a chair mm. and they had um, little pedals in front of you, had an accelerator and a brake. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I had to press the accelerator, then jump on the brake as soon as I saw the red light flashing. Oh, okay. So I hit the accelerator. Uh -huh. I see the red light and then I jump on the brake. Oh, oh, it's fun, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so it proves I have gang muck. <laughs> I, I, I didn't go with him that time. <laughs> I don't know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> so that proves I have gang muck reflexes. Mm. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so she was happy with that. So I moved on to the next stage, mm. still sitting in the chair. Mm. She gave me the little controller. <laughs> It had a um, forward and reverse, two little buttons for forward and reverse, mm. and maybe they have to, it's making the same lower. Yeah, so maybe about it. twenty feet from me, there was a, a little box that I had to look through, and there was two little poles. Mm. One one was back here, a, away yeah. from me, and then I had to press one of the buttons. Yeah, the red button. <laughs> oh, is it the red button? <laughs> and bring it up level with the other pole that was stationary. Yes. Didn't you don't understand before, did you? 
do it <laughs> because <laughs> you're gonna have to call me to help. <laughs> Her English wasn't great, and I was also thinking, well, if I don't do so well on this test, I want to. I want to blame the communication problem. Mm. Ooh, that's, that's very lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so I called Tara over so, so they could have a chat. Uh, the girl's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to press a button to get these to, to line up. Mm. And I thought it was pretty much lined up, but I wasn't 100% sure. And she said, put your hand up if, if, if you think that's, that's right. Uh. So I just put my hand up. She said, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> so, so that was passed. So mm. I passed that section. Oh. The final phase was I had to go up to another area, mm. and they had is a a pole, a pole and, a... and two little lights on either side, a red and a green. Mm. And I had to stick my nose <laughs> in this little cutout area, mm. and she pressed buttons. And then I have to yell out what colour I could see. Um, I wasn't allowed to to divert my eyes. I had to keep looking ahead. Oh. <laughs> but seriously, it was like playing carnival games. Oh really? Yeah. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> it, it wasn't like going for a, a, um. like a high a high level testing. Oh. <laughs> it was just like going to the, the circus had come to town. And they set out their games, <laughs> and they had to play them to, to win a, a prize. Uh. <laughs> so, so I passed all those tests, yes. mm. and Tal was so proud of me. <laughs> Let me have fun now. <laughs> <laughs> so then we, we just head up, headed upstairs, grabbed another number to wait in line to have, yes. to have our, um, or have, sorry, to have my photo taken and yeah. my card printed. Yes. It's very quick. Mm, mm. Mm. That's good. <laughs> yeah, so, and the lady spoke Nidnoi English as well. So Ta had to get my head and put it, put it in the right position for the photo. Make sure you're handsome. <laughs> Make sure you're not careful to let it. So then I actually said to the to the lady after she'd taken the photo. Lo, lo mai. Lo mai. Lo mai. <laughs> so it is photo, photo, lo mai. <laughs> so it was a photo handsome. And she said, lo, lo. <laughs> Very handsome. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. so that was nice. Have, have a bit of fun there. Yeah, the, the official, they are very good. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so paid the money. Mm. 100 baht for the for the doctor, doctor yep. 500 baht for the Thai government but <laughs> 1680 baht for the Australian government Just them. <laughs> for my Thai license <laughs> that was like a five years <laughs> yeah fortunately yeah. It's, it lasts for five years yeah, now the second you get five the first the first year two year you got mm. two year okay. yeah and the second five years yeah so all in all, it's pretty straightforward what I had to do. It wasn't complicated. Um, I don't know if things vary from from what if you go to a, a, an office in a different province, um, if they do different testing. I I I, I certainly can't. Yeah, we, we, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know no. the other they're the same or not. <laughs> yeah, so it may vary from province to province. Yes. Hmm. Uh, oh. We wanted to do video, but the security guard wouldn't let us do any video outside. Uh, just outside. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, I especially wanted to video where they do the, the driver's lights, driving testing, driving testing. Driving testing. Yeah. It's, they don't take the drivers out on the road. It's like a... a a tiny car park mm. and they get people to drive around this car park make sure you can park <laughs> it doesn't matter if you can if you can uh, reverse park on a hill or drive in traffic it doesn't matter as long as you can park in a um, in the lotus car <laughs> car park when you go to your shopping you can get your license in thailand <laughs> 
Yes. <laughs> As we think uh, if you can park at the shopping center, you are a great driver. Because <laughs> <laughs> you have to go around all the shopping trolleys that the tires just leave everywhere. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so that that was that was a bit eye opening for me. Like, there's no driver testing on the roads like they do in Australia. Mm. Yes. Mm. I don't know how they do. Yeah, so that's probably one of the reasons why there's so many fatalities on the road in Thailand. <laughs> Just one of the reasons. <laughs> Please, if you have any questions, uh, if we haven't covered this this topic fully enough for you, please ask questions in the comments. Yes. <laughs> Ta will be very happy to answer any comments, any questions that you have. Really? No. <laughs> All right, I'll answer your questions. <laughs> Peace, <job. laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, Thank you so much for cooking dinner. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to finish dinner now. Yeah. All right. So bye. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. You're so joyed here. And don't forget, if you enjoyed the video, click like. And if you loved it, subscribe. Take care.